that time of the year again. The time where the volume of my work overwhelms even me. Though I suppose the reason it weighs so heavy on my heart is because of the feelings that I've had to keep deep down inside of myself for so long. In truth, the reason why I'm telling you this way instead of to your face is, well, it may be just because I lack conviction. Truthfully, I see all the people that I help and I envy them. Sometimes I think I should shoot myself with one of my own arrows. And make myself bold enough to confess to you in person, but... Instead, I'll say what I have to say through this. So you can feel it in your heart. As true as it is. As raw and real as it is. Because you need to know that you're loved. And I know that you don't believe that you are, but it's true. We may have never met, not officially, but I see you. I see how self-conscious you are when you're walking around and you think everyone's eyes are on you, but really, they're just mine. Everyone else is so oblivious to the people around them, but you... You're so painfully aware of everything. You think, I must not look good enough. I must be annoying. I will never amount to this person or that person, but the truth is, you're perfect. And I hate that you think those ways. Sometimes I watch you when you get home and look in the mirror and you point out all of your imperfections but I find them to be the most beautiful things about you. Everything that I see in you is what I wish I saw in myself. Courage. Honesty. Smart. Sometimes I wish that there are pieces of you that I could just put inside of me. I know how wrong that sounds, and while I'd enjoy that too, that's not what I mean. Anyways, I just need you to know that I don't love you in the way that one loves a celebrity or a role model. I'm in love with you. I'm in love with you. I'm in love with you. Oh, wow. It feels so freeing to say it. And not just in my head, but knowing that you're going to hear this. Anyways, I really wanted you to hear this, not just for yourself, but selfishly, for me. I watch as the people I shoot fall in love and get their happily ever afters. I watch them come together and Defeat all odds, I've watched women turn themselves into monsters just to be with the people they love. I've watched men give themselves to the monsters that they adore, knowing what that might mean for them. And I am an angel with the duty of making other people happy and full of love and light and desire, but I've never been able to indulge in my own. 
I want that. And I want it with you. I am an angel, yes. But if it also makes me a monster for wanting to be with you, for being willing to sacrifice everything that I've been doing so far just to live a life with you, I will. You're worth it to me. How I wish I was with you right now. But instead, I'm outside of your window, watching you sleep. Tonight's been rough for you. I've been watching you toss and turn for the last three hours. <laughs> A part of you yearns for someone to love this Valentine's Day too, doesn't it? I saw you looking at the stuff in the local grocery store meant for those who have lovers. But you don't have one. Part of me believes that it's because fate intends for us to be together. Because what I'm doing right now will make you love me. But I know that's not reality. I know that you will hear my love, but... I don't wish to make you love me. I wish... I wish for you to fall for me so truly. I wish that I were normal. And that you could pass me on the street and know how beautiful I am. And we would go on about our day. Until you saw me in a coffee shop a couple of days later. And you offer to pay for my coffee. <laughs> and I reluctantly say yes. We get to talking and then... just falls into place the way it should be. Anyways, I'm rambling about things that aren't true and could never be true. The point is, even though you might not know me, I know you. And I love you. And you are not alone this Valentine's Day. You won't be, I promise. Even if I have to watch you from afar. Consider it a date. I'll be gone by the time you wake up. And you'll likely think that this is a dream. Maybe you won't even remember by the time you awake. But at least I'll have said it. With love, Cora the Cupid. And now, all I have to do is shoot this arrow into his heart. And he will know all that I have felt for him. But is this right? Knowing what I risk, knowing that it could make him seek out the love of a monster, that it could force him to love me, is this selfish? No, no it's not. My entire existence is for the sake of love. If I denied it to myself, then I would be a fraud. That's it. I'm aiming this arrow for his heart. 
There's no going back now. <sighs> it's in. He's stirring in his sleep. I wonder if he's hearing and feeling everything now. Oh. It seems I miscalculated. He... He wasn't asleep. He seems so confused, but... He isn't upset. Is he looking at me? That can't be possible. There's no way he sees me. I'm too far away. No, he's definitely looking at me. Uh, no, I can't do this. I have to go. It's been two days since then. I haven't been able to check up on him. I hope he's okay. I hope that maybe he's forgotten about everything. I can't imagine forcing someone to love me. But I miss looking at him. I'm just scared. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I wasn't looking. <gasps> it's... It's you. Wait. What do you mean it's me? You recognize me? I'm so sorry. I know it sounds ridiculous. And I know that you probably feel like your privacy has been invaded, but I promise you, every time I watched you, it was during completely wholesome moments. I never watched you do anything indecent, and I... You don't feel like your privacy was invaded? And you knew who I was the whole time? I'm sorely confused. How did you know who I was? <laughs> well... I guess I can admit that I am a little clumsy, but I never thought I was clumsy watching you. I mean, there was that one time where you were grocery shopping and I was on the other aisle and I didn't know that there wasn't a median that was separating the two. And when you took the flower and it was the last one and you saw me, <laughs> I thought I was done for. You thought it was normal. So I guess you did know who I was. But why didn't you ever say anything? That's right. You have had insecurity issues. I hope you understand now that Whatever negative things you think about yourself, I don't believe in. You're perfect to- <sighs> That's right. You did hear. My bow didn't hurt, did it? 
I never get to stick around to ask others if my bows hurt them. It felt like a warm hug. <laughs> well, I'm glad. If it isn't too much to ask, can I walk with you on your way home? I'd like to hear what it is you need to say to me about what I told you. Thank you. Alright. I'm all ears. Wow. It feels like we were only walking for five seconds, but it's been 30 minutes. I'm really surprised that you had so much to say. Even more surprised that you watched me too. But I guess whenever you were inside of me, it didn't mean that I was necessarily out of your sight either. So in the moments that you saw me, you fell for me completely. <gasps> Can you say it again? That you love me? <gasps> Nothing has ever warmed my heart more. <laughs> Please accept gratitude for your love. I'd like to admit something to you before we take this too far you need to know that the effect of my arrow in confessing my feelings may have swayed the way you see me. You may only be reciprocating these feelings because <laughs> Because of the effect of my powers, as I am an angel. <laughs> what? Of course I'd like to come inside, but... Didn't you hear what I just said? Your feelings might not be of your own free will. I'm a monster, aren't I? Okay, I'll follow you. <gasps> when did you do all of this? I never... I only looked at you through your bedroom window. I never saw the rest of your apartment. These are paintings of me all over the wall. You couldn't have done that in the two days since I, I told you everything, so... <gasps> you really have had feelings for me all this time. <gasps> Can I... May I kiss you? <gasps> I promise to be gentle, I swear. I just, I really need this. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> probably look like a mess right now. You think I've never looked more beautiful? <laughs> I know that my confession was probably a lot. And I understand that this is the first time we're meeting formally, but Never mind. 
oh, it's it's really embarrassing, and I don't want to spring something like that on. Okay, okay. As a cupid, my love forms in many ways, of course, and it only grows the more I help other people, because I love love, but my love also forms very strongly in the sense that my sexual urges are overwhelming, to say the least. And now that I've confessed how I feel about you, let's just say that I'm slick with, with more than just your saliva on my mouth. Oh, are you really gonna make me say it? Okay. I want to make love to you, with you, now and forever. I understand if you're more experienced and you want someone more experienced, but it'll be my first time and I'd really like to give it to you. So. What do you say? Really? <gasps> oh, I... No, I won't cry again. <sighs> or maybe I will, like, I don't know. I can't really hold them back. <sighs> Yeah, that helped. Okay. I think I'm ready. <laughs>